mountain rescue doctor Marcelo Parada has seen this sort of death before, in the victims of avalanches. They were buried for quite a long time, four or five hours, and uh, when we dug them out, they were dead, hypothermic, and they had vomit around their mouth. The maiden does have vomit on her lips. So was this her terrible fate? Did priests bury her alive as an offering to the gods? When someone's buried alive, there's always that struggle to escape from the material that's pinning them down. So there's evidence of movements of the hands, sometimes with damage to the nails and the fingertips. Look at the maiden, I don't see any evidence at all to suggest that she was buried alive. Johann Reinhardt was one of the first people to lay eyes on her tomb after it was sealed 500 years earlier. There's no sense of struggle in the tomb itself. All the items that are around her look like they haven't been disturbed. She herself looks like she hasn't been terribly disturbed. Her hands one over the other. If somebody's struggling, would you have their hands like this? Doesn't seem very likely. Looking back at his discovery now, Johan believes that the murder weapon may have been staring him in the face. One of the first things he had to remove from her body was a thick woolen cloth pulled over her entire head and knotted tightly at the back. Once you have cloths wrapped around your head and your mouth at 22,000 feet, you're out of breath immediately. You know what I mean? It just she could have asphyxiated if she was highly intoxicated with alcohol. Marcello agrees that it wouldn't have taken much to smother the maiden, given her condition. There is a point where intoxicated people, their brain is so compromised, they won't even struggle. Perhaps the alcohol was administered to help ease her journey out of this world and into the next. In a situation of low oxygen, when the person is at altitude, incapacitated through drugs or alcohol, it's likely they're going to succumb far more quickly than were they down at sea level. Having weighed up all the evidence, Dr. Shepard delivers his final verdict. Having considered all of the facts, I think suffocation is a very likely cause of death for the maiden. For 500 years, the Inca maiden has guarded the secrets of how she died. Now, the truth is revealed. A gentle suffocation to send her to the gods. I, I don't think she suffered. She wasn't aware of that. Uh, that's what alcohol does. You're kind of isolated from the, from the environment. We think that the maiden died peacefully. In this case, there are no presence of violence. You can see in her face that she rests in peace. When the Inca offered this child to the gods, they believed she would live forever, eternally young, immortalized in her glorious sacrifice. That is what Gabriella wants to believe too. I prefer to think of her as a goddess and that she's happy in some way. Traumatic happiness, but happiness at least. The alternative is, is too sad.